This is code.org, and we're getting asked, what do we think the program does? All right, students, keep in mind, when you, you can't hit run yet, right? Run is grayed out. Now, once you enter text, you will be able to click the run button, but you won't be able to change your answer. It's submitted to me. Well, it's submitted to your teacher. If I'm your teacher, it's submitted to me. You want to think about this carefully. You also want to use your own words. You want to be able to understand this because it makes your life easier. All right, let's take a look. Let's think about this a bit. So what's it do? Uh, all right, so this all looks standard, right? We got this class, my neighborhood. We got the main method. And then we're going to dive into line six. We just did this last lesson. Painter, my painter equals new painter. Yep, that looks fine. So to use the scary lingo we did last time, we got an, an object here. We instantiate it. We create an instance of it. We create one copy of it and we name it my painter. That's the variable. We then ask the object, which we gave, which is called my painter to dot move. So we're running some code there. We don't know what's in the my painter class. We don't know what's in the painter class. They're not going to show us yet, but we know that exists and we've seen the painter move before. So that looks fine. So let's see, we create this object and the painter will move once and twice. Line 11. Ooh, we're going to turn left. 12 left. 13 left. Okay, wait a minute. That's a lot of left. If you turn left three times, ooh, that would be a right. Yep. And I'm going to just start smacking down some notes here. Not in sentences or anything, but let's see. We make a painter. Painter moves twice. Nah, painter turns right and I'm going to just put a note left three times all right now what let's see we do my painter move so we move twice you know if we start in the same spot we were starting in I believe the painter was in the top left so if we start in the top left and we had been facing east and guys if you don't believe me let's Let's go back. Let's double check another lesson. We have a bazillion resources and we can just take a peek. We can confirm this real quick. But a uh, painter top left and facing east. Okay. So then we move twice, once, twice, and then we turn left three times, which we just said would be right. So now they must be facing this way. And notice I'm just going line by line. This stuff gets complex if I try to read everything at once. All right, and then it looks like I take paint. So I turn left three times, which is a right, and then I move. So I should be standing on the paint. Oh, okay. So I would assume then, ooh, there's a little one next to this paint. So that must be how much paint's in that bucket. So then take one paint, I'll call that. Sure. And then it looks like I move again. So plock, I would be at, let's see, three down, three over, I guess. And then I turn left once. Okay, so then I'd be facing this way. Ooh, I turn left once, so I'm just facing to the left, but then I paint it blue. Oh, okay, so take paint, move down one, right? Take paint, move once. I turn left, but that's fine. Move down one, paint blue. So I would still paint here even if I'm facing left. Oh, and then I move over one. So I guess I end up here. So my quick notes, uh, we make a painter, or you can use fancy, instantiate, call it a painter object. Apparently I can't. Painter object, right? There we are. Instantiate a printer object. We move twice. So boom, one, two. We turn right. We move down one. We take the paint. Check. We move one more, plop. Then we turn left, cool, we're facing this way, but we paint blue right here, and then we end on that. So definitely complete full sentences. Make sure you understand it. Let's give this a shot. And we did it. Onward.